let's paint some more skin. Hey guys, welcome back to Cracking Miniature Painting. Last week we took a look at how to paint darker skin tones. This week we're going to be doing the reverse and looking at how to paint paler tones. We're going to be using a model from the Untamed Beast range by Games Workshop. Before we get started, if you could please hit that notification bell and the subscribe button, it really does help the channel. And if you could hop on over to the Facebook page and give it a like, that would be fantastic. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so here we go. Um, we're using the Untamed Beasts Heart Eater by Games Workshop from the Warcry range. Now I've started off with the Chaos Black undercoat here. You can use white if you want, or grey. Uh, it's really down to your own personal preference. I prefer black. But with the black you'll find that you have to do more layers just at this stage now, just to get a good coverage. So we're using Cadian Flesh Tone as the base coat. And you want to just chuck some on your palette, water it down, and I think I did about four coats to get a, a good solid coat. That's what you're kind of left with by the time you've done it. So yeah, like I said, that took about four coats. We're going to come in with the Reichland Flesh Shake now. Now I take this straight from the pot. I do leave a little bit of water kind of in the brush. So it is a little bit diluted, but I've not purposely done it on the palette. And we're just going to go all the way over the Cadian Flesh Tone hitting all the recesses and everything, just, just cover it all. And the idea behind this is obviously that wash is going to sink into the recesses of all the muscles there. In between the fingers, on the face when we hit it. There he is. So once it's all dry and everything, that should be what you're left with. And we're going to come back to Arcadian Flesh Tone. Now, again, you want to just drop a blob into your palette, water it down. Now, you want it as a fairly thin consistency because we're going to work the layers and build them up. And you're going to see what we're going to do here now. So you just want to pick out each individual muscle. So you see here, we're working on the pectoral there. We'll move on to the obliques, his abs, the arms with the biceps and everything. And you're just hitting where the light would be. So the Cadian Flesh Tone is going to be the most that you paint on now. It's going to be the bit that's going to cover the biggest area. For those interested, I'm using an Artis Opus brush. Size zero. So yeah, just imagine where the light would hit. Leaving the Reichland Flesh Shade in the recesses. As I say, this will be the bit that covers the most. And you'll see what will happen once we start layering up and lightening the tone. You can see the difference between the two parts there, the, the right side and the left side of the model. What we're trying to achieve. Just dotting the knuckles, painting the fingers. These models are pretty good because the, the details on the body there are well defined. And that should be what you're left with once you've done your kind of first pass. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start adding your Shabti Bone into that Cadian Flesh Tone. It's going to jump now, you'll see what we're doing. We've just touched the tops of the muscles, so you, again, you're just focusing on where that light is hitting. So this is your second pass. So we're going to come in for a third pass now. And you're just going to add your Shabti Bone a little bit more back into that Cadian Flesh Tone mix. You lighten it every time. And what we're going to do is now we're just going to hit the very top points of the muscles. Apart from the pec, I find that painting the pecs, you want to aim for the lower portion of it to be the brightest part. For me, it always looks the best. I, I, I don't know why, I just think it looks better. So aim for the bottom of his boobies. You're going to dot in the knuckles there on the hands. And again, this is literally just the very tops of the muscle. Now you can keep going with this, you can make it as bright as you want, just keep adding the Abshabti bone into it. Eventually you will hit pure Abshabti bone. And also as well, if you wanted to bring this back down and, and kind of 
desaturate it a little bit, you could mix up a really watered down version of the Cadian flesh tone and just go back over it. And it will almost solidify and tie everything together. I was pretty happy with everything at this point, so I, I didn't bother doing that. But it's something you could do if, if you found that this tone was a little bit too bright. But it would keep your highlights there, providing you did a very thin mix. You can see we're literally just hitting the tops of those muscles. And you can see the transition between everything there now. Just going to hit the leg. Inner thigh there. Do the scars as the brightest point. I mean, if you want them looking like fresh fresh scars, paint them more uh, of a more of the Cadian flesh tones and more pinky. I wanted them to look like old scars, so did them more white. So again, that's down to personal preference and everything. The knuckles just dot in We're onto the chest there. And as I said, you can keep going with this. You can literally just keep adding to the mix, making it brighter. This point here, I wasn't too happy with that leg with the scar on, so I'm gonna go back in and just hit some more of it. Just kind of extended the highlight a little bit over the muscle. And there you have it, that's him done. I hope that that's helpful, guys. This is my go-to kind of skin technique when it comes to painting the paler tones. So yeah, uh, as I said before, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, that would be fantastic. Head on over to the Facebook page, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.